Hey everyone, Ayaz here from Ayaz Tech. And if you have built an awesome React app and are tired of just seeing it on your own computer, well, today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you how to easily deploy your React app on Hostinger and get it live for the world to see. Whether you are a beginner or have some experience, this tutorial will guide you step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you will have your very own React website ready to get started. Let's dive in. Before we jump right in, let's cover a few quick prerequisites. First, you will need a Hostinger account. Their shared hosting plans are perfectly fine for most React projects. If you don't have an account yet, head over to their website and sign up. I will have a link for you in the description below. Next, you will need your React app completely built and ready for deployment. If you have not already, open up your project terminal and run the npm run build command or yarn build. This is crucial as it creates a super optimized version of your app designed for live environments. Right now I don't have a react app so I will create a new react app by running the command npx create react app and the name of your project test. It will immediately generate a new react project for you and create a folder. So once it is generated and created we will open that folder in my editor i will be using vs code all right the project has been generated now i will use the cd command to go into that folder and open it in my editor okay the project has been opened in my editor now i will run this command in my terminal npm run build so it has created the build for us in the build folder that you can use to deploy lastly a custom domain name is optional it makes your site look way more professional so you can choose uh, any domain name but right now i will create a custom subdomain on my main hosting so open your manager for your main hosting and then click on the domain section click on the subdomains and then first of all select the domain that you want to use to create subdomain and then here you will type the name for so for example i want to host react app so i gave it a name react app and click on the create button not all that great now let's get to the actual deployment all right now for the fun part let's deploy that react app hostinger offers two super easy methods and i will walk you through the both first uh, method is file manager so log into your hostinger control panel and you will usually find a section called file manager on the left side bar so go ahead and open that up now click on this button access files okay so inside the file manager look for a folder called public html this is the home directory for your website's files so double click on that and within that find the folder that was created for our new subdomain so this is the react app folder click double click on that and right now there is a default dot php file so if you open that subdomain you will see the default page because of this default dot php page so i will just delete it now on your computer find your react projects build folder so you as we saw earlier that this was the folder it created so you can just click on the reveal in finder or you can manually open from the finder and go to the build folder we need to upload the contents of this build folder into the subdomain or into the hostinger folder in the file manager so let's do that uh, here i will open the finder in front of my so select all files and drag them and drop them here in the project folder and you will see that all of the files will be uploaded give it a, a moment to upload and then the moment of truth type your website address in your browser and boom you should see your deployed react app live next we will discuss the ftp method so for this method we will use a free ftp program like filezilla if you don't have it there is a download link in the description back in your hostinger control panel find the ftp accounts section here you will get your ftp username password and server address so we need to open the filezilla first and then we need to enter the ftp details so for that i will copy paste these details first of all copy the host name paste it here and then username and then the password 
right now i don't remember the password so i will create a new ftp account here so i know that in which folder i i need to give it access so i will manually type the path it is under the public underscore html slash react app folder and let me add a username test and password can be anything and click actually we have to type more stronger password all right click on the create button uh, we cannot use this weak password so we have to generate a stronger password so this generated this strong password click on the create all right the ftp account has been created and you can see here it is added on this path all right now here in the username i will add the new username before that let me paste the password that i copied earlier and this is the username this time so and let me copy this host name okay now click on the quick connect if everything is correct then you will see this kind of confirmation dialog i will click on the always trust this certificate in future session so that it don't don't appear every time i click on the quick connect and it is logged in successfully and now it is showing the directory listing so here you can see all of the files that were already uploaded on that folder now let's uh, let's make some change in our react app and we will rebuild it and deploy it on that remote server so here let me add an heading h1 tag okay i have added an heading now let's build it again and once that is built then we will again open the folder and we will select all of the files and drag them and open the filezilla and paste it here okay so it will ask to overwrite i will select overwrite if source is newer okay so this will save a lot of a lot of time so it will only overwrite those files which are updated okay click on okay and click on it again and click on the always use this section okay now it will continuously keep doing that okay it is uploaded now let's go to our live website reload it and this time you will see the new heading that we just added now even with the simplest things sometimes hiccups happen let me quickly run through some common errors you might bump into double check uh, one error is that not uploading everything so double check that you uploaded all of the files inside your react projects build folder not the build folder itself so sometime you may make a mistake like for example instead of uploading all of these files you will just go back here and you you may just drag and drop the build folder here so that is the mistake you should not do that you should directly open the build folder and select the files and move them there second mistake our error is wrong location so make absolutely sure these files are placed directly inside the public folder on your hosting account or inside the correct folder inside the public underscore html so like remember we created a new subdomain in the hostinger and it created a child folder in the public html folder so we knew that we have to open that folder and put our files in there next issue might be that forgot the build step so it's easy to forget so if you see a blank page or errors go back and run that npm run build command again next don't sweat it deployment can sometimes be a little finicky if you run into problems take a deep breath and don't get discouraged hostinger has a great knowledge base and their support team is usually quite helpful too and there you have it your react app is now out there for the world to enjoy we can go deeper into making your deployed react app lightning fast and optimized to rank well in search results let me know in the comments if you are interested in those topics if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to a stack for more web development goodness and definitely let me know in the comments what kind of tutorials you would like to see next thanks for watching until next time keep building awesome things